Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the um, Anastasia Artist Palette. It's Those colors are way out of my comfort zone, but I went ahead and tried something way different. Um, I think I just used three colors, and as you can see, most of it is on the bottom. Um, and yeah, I mean, I hope you guys like it. Like I said, this is way out of my comfort zone, but it was um, fun making it. It's really, really easy and super, super short to do it. So to speed things up, I went ahead and already did this eye. So when you see in the video, I'm only going to be doing this eye. And obviously my face um, was already done. And also I wanted to let you guys know that I have been doing a lot of get ready with me's on Snapchat in the morning. And it's actually been a lot of fun. They're, what have I been calling them? I've been calling them get snappy ready with me or something like that. So I do little clips or little pictures of the products I'm using and then I go ahead and I you know show you what I'm doing as I'm going. So I've been getting a lot of responses that you guys are liking that. And I actually did this um, today right before I did it. So I was uh, doing Snapchat with this eye and then I went ahead and filmed this eye for you guys on YouTube to show you how I did it. So, um, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, make sure you do that so you can see more Get Ready With Me's because I'd probably do them, or I'm going to start doing them almost daily because, I don't know, I'm, I'm really enjoying them. And yeah, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video if you like it. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Here we go guys, let's jump right on into it. This is the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. All these colors are kind of out of my uh, comfort zone, but I wanted to take a good shot at creating a look for you guys. So I'm going to start off with this Dusty Rose color. It's a very good transition color and that's probably one of the only colors that I would be using as an everyday. And I'm going to be taking a very flat... Um, definer type of brush from Morphe and I'm going to concentrate it only in my crease like as deep in my crease as I can and that's the only color I'm going to be using in the socket. Next I'm grabbing this eye pencil from Ardency Inn called Mobster. It's in their blackest black. It's a really, really good pencil. I'm going to be using this in the waterline as well as the tight line. And I think I was having some technical difficulties doing this on camera. Next I'm grabbing a Sigma pencil brush and I'm just going to smudge out the bottom lash line just to give it a smoky effect. And I don't know why I'm pointing at this color because that is not the color I used. I used Unicorn in the bottom left hand corner. So sorry. So that's the color I'm using with a flat definer brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to be putting it on the outer portion of the bottom lash line. Next I'm grabbing this fresh color, the yellow one, and I'm going to be using the same brush and I'm going to be putting it in the inner, inner corner of the bottom lash line and not bringing it out all the way and kind of on the bottom once I, the bottom of the blue once I get towards the middle. Does that make any sense? Next I'm grabbing Ardency Inn's Punker Liner. This is one of those felt tip type liners and it says world's baddest eyeliner. And I would like to say I agree with that. But I'm only going to put this as close as I can to the lash line. It's just going to help with um, the uh, lashes that I'm going to be using. 
and it's just going to help define the lashes a little more. So I'm not going to do any crazy wing liner, just going to have it, you know, really, really close. Um, yeah. So I suckered in because all of you guys told me to get the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I did it. So I'll be using that with Max Giga Black uh, Lash for the bottom and I have to say the Too Faced is pretty good. And I'll also be using the House of Lashes Iconics. Duh! What else? Seriously, huh? And here is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was very quick, very simple. And yeah, obviously what makes this, I think, is the lashes, of course. Iconics, you can never go wrong with them. Anywho, thanks, babe, so much. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snappy Chat. Bye!